It's been the top story from the weekend and one highlighting the issues of freedom of expression, police powers and coups once again. One of the leading figures of the Fix the Country movement, Oliver Bakavomawo, has been charged with treason felony for social media posts alleged to be insightful. One of his posts threatened a coup should the controversial e-levy be passed into law by the Parliament of Ghana. The Ghana Police Service deems this deserving of the charge and same confirmed that the Asherman District Court which denied him bail for want of jurisdiction and remanded him for two weeks. The charge of treason felony according to law potentially puts the private legal practitioner and the law academic in jeopardy of life imprisonment since that is the maximum jail term prescribed for the alleged offence under the Criminal and Other Offences Procedure Act 1960, Act 30. Section 182 of the Criminal and Other Offences Act 1960, Act 29 provides that, quote, a person is guilty of treason felony and shall be punishable as for first degree felony who a prepares or endeavors to procure by unlawful means any alteration of the law or the policy of government or b prepares or endeavors to carry out by unlawful means any enterprise which usurps the executive power of the state in any matter of both a public and a general nature this offence is quite different from treason or high treason, which is provided for under Article 3, Clause 3 of the 1992 Constitution of Ghana. Quote, any person who A, by himself or in concert with others, by any violent or other unlawful means, suspends, overthrows or abrogates this Constitution or any part of it, or attempts to do any such act, or B, aids and abets in any manner any person referred to in paragraph A of this clause commits the offence of high treason and shall upon conviction be sentenced to suffer death. Through it all, the most contentious legal talking point is whether the Asherman Divisional Police Command acted within the law when they arrested the suspect on a Friday evening, February 11th, detained him through the weekend and arraigned him Monday morning, February 14th. Private legal practitioner Martin Pebu is convinced that the act of the police in the matter is an affront to the constitution of Ghana and an infringement on the fundamental human rights of the suspect. The constitutional right is that he must have immediate access to a lawyer. But Article 14, Clause 2 says that give him immediately, inform him about the charge, and immediately let him have access to his lawyer. They were supposed to arraign him in court within 48 hours. The Supreme Court has opened the courts for Saturdays, Sundays, public holidays. And I keep saying there's a decision to that. Martin Pebble's position is supported by case law. In the case of Martin Pebble versus the Attorney General, the Supreme Court held that, quote, Within 48 hours in Article 14.3 of the Constitution includes all days, that is, public holidays, weekends, periods of strike action, or civil unrest subject to the reasonable assurance of the safety and security of judicial officers and service staff. Court services must be available on the aforementioned date to determine issues pertaining due compliance with Article 14.3 of the Constitution. Prosecution is reported to have said in court that the police over the weekend reached out to the Chief Justice hoping to get a court to hear the matter, but to no avail. Aside the concerns of human rights breaches, lead counsel for the suspect Akoto Ampao is of the view that the treason felony charge preferred against his client is cynical and smacks off bad faith. Quote, until this morning, the offense was a misdemeanor only to appear in court and be told he is being charged with treason felony, which has no factual basis, unquote. Meanwhile, supporters of Fix the Country movement, who massed up at the Asherman District Court in solidarity with their leader, are relentless in their demand for justice. What is it that he has done that we've not heard about in this country before? We were all in this country where a lot of treason comments have been made 
and nothing has been done about it. Nobody is saying Oliver is above the law. That is not what we are saying. What we are saying is the law needs to be applied according to everybody. But why would the suspect be put before a court that does not have the jurisdiction to grant him bail? Legal practitioner Eduji Tamaklu suspects foul play. It's so deliberate it's to keep him there. How is it deliberate? Why would they want to keep him there? I am saying that this whole thing of treason felony is an afterthought. They started with offensive oh, conduct. conduct. Yes. But in order to keep him there for a longer time, it has to be changed to treason felony. Obviously, so the, the district court judge will be denied jurisdiction relative to granting him bail. Solidarity messages from the fighters, one Ghana movement, and others continue to come in for Baka while the demand for fair prosecution heightens. What's next? The courts decide.